What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode. So I've got a date, a brunch date to be specific. One of my favorite things to do on a beautiful summer Sunday afternoon is go do brunch. Eating some eggs benedict all while smelling fantastic. And citrus fragrances that keep you feeling fresh are definitely the types of fragrances that are perfect for brunch dates. So in today's episode, I'm gonna be going over seven niche citrus fragrances to keep you smelling fresh this summer. So stay tuned, cue that intro. <laughs> Welcome back, Fragrance Family, to another episode of My Two Cents. My name is Brian, and this is the show all about boosting your confidence through the art of fragrance, becoming a lasting scent memory. That's right, I got a date. I'm super kind of pumped up, and it's not with a woman. No, I'm going out with some buddies. Wah, 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 wah. But that's all right, because you never know what can happen. You don't know who you're going to meet, so you need to stay smelling fresh. And citrus fragrances are some of the best fragrances to go with. But real quick, I just want to say what's up to all my OG subscribers, man. Y'all have been great. It's been great getting to know you, and I appreciate all the love and support. And if you were new to this channel, just do me a quick favor. Show me some love with a sub. And if you enjoyed today's episode, throw me up one of these and help contribute to the growth of this beautiful family tree. I'd really appreciate it. Guys, I want to apologize for not getting an episode out last night. To be completely real with you, um, I screwed my back up at work, um, and I was helping my buddy build his river house yesterday, and it just screwed it up even more. Um, yeah, when you're swinging around that pole, man, I got a little twisted. <laughs> just kidding, but for real, I, I screwed up my back, so... Yeah, I, I laid out and, and, and did some research and did some, some writing and did some testing of some new fragrances. But yeah, that's about it. That's all I had in me. So uh, my apologies. So with that pity party out of the way, wah, wah, let's go ahead and get into the whiffs and snoofs. Okay, so there's actually eight fragrances. I have one honorable mention. But I'm leaving that for the end of the episode. So you definitely want to stay tuned for that because it's a brand new fragrance. I just got in yesterday. And again, sorry, I did not do an unboxing and a first impression with you. I didn't have it in me. But let's just say it's a fragrance that I've been waiting for. And it finally came. So then you definitely want to stick around for that. Be at the end of the episode. So these fragrances, no particular order. And the first one comes from the House of Commodity. And it is Bergamot. Very suitable name for this. And these are floating around at rack stores last year for like $29.99. And I picked up this one and Vetiver for 60 bucks. Great price for a niche fragrance, I'll tell you what. And now they're back on the market because they did go under for a while and they got bought back up. So you can get this for about 105 bucks. This starts out with really nice citrusy bergamot, clementine, and mandarin orange. And those are the main players in it. While you also get some mint and geranium and jasmine, some nice aromatics and a nice woody backbone and base to it. Uh, the main players in it really are the citruses. Not a super long lasting fragrance. So you get about six hours out of it, but the main players are going to be that bright, fresh citrus. The mint, geranium, and jasmine definitely help those citruses stay nice and fresh and green for you. So definitely check out Commodity Bergamot. Next comes from the house of Les Indemendable and is Chipre Azurel. The Sicilian uh, Mandarin in this is a huge player and it sticks around for a very very long time now you do have your green aspects in it you have some rose and tarragon the tarragon keeps it fresh you just smell super fresh and it sticks to that mandarin orange and it just it just keeps it going now not super cheap you're looking at about 225 for 50 ml but so worth it in my opinion because a little goes a long way you get long lasting performance out of this the sillage is awesome and i highly suggest checking out less into mandable cheaper azurel next comes from the house of penhaligans and it is lothair now this is an eau de toilette but this is a long lasting eau de toilette now it doesn't just have citrus in it it's got a whole lot of things going on but what i really like is it starts out bright fresh and citrusy lots of nice citrus in it the citruses in it are going to be bergamot and grapefruit but also it has some red berries to give it a slight fruitiness and then it's got fig leaf to give it even a little bit more herbaceous green fruitiness 
this thing's got so many layers to it, so it starts out bright, fresh, and citrusy, but then it can be, has a green aspect, and then it gets aromatic, and then it gets nice and spicy, and then it's woody. Yeah, for an eau de toilette, this has got really good performance. I get eight hours out of it. It really pops off your skin for the first two hours. And for the price, I got my 100 ml for less than 100 bucks. Definitely check out Penhaligon's look there. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see any of these fragrances in full reviews. I would be happy to do them. I'll probably do them anyways, but let me know which ones really intrigue you the most. Next up comes from the house of Nottingham Wilson, and it's the newest edition. It's Bon Viver. This is awesome. Lots of citrus up top. Has a cool watermelon note that gives it this nice watery aspect. You get a nice blend and dry gin, but the citruses are the big main player. The citruses in this are going to be lemon, orange, Sicilian mandarin. This thing is just bright and citrusy right off the bat. You get some nice basil and some lemongrass, and the lemongrass gives it a nice lemony feel to it, but also gives it a nice green aspect. You get some clove to give it some spiciness, some really nice oak moss. This is a banger because it, it does a lot of different things for you as well. The watermelon cuts out the booziness from the gin. It's a very well put together fragrance. I highly suggest checking out Bon Viver. Next comes from the house of Goldfield and Banks and it is Bohemian Lime. All right, so this has caviar lime or Australian finger lime. So Australian finger limes or caviar limes have a whole lot of juicy citrus in them and they also are quite tart. And so this, instead of having ginger, that ginger and citrus combo, it has coriander. Coriander's taking the place of that ginger, so it gives it that nice spiciness. This thing is awesome, awesome. The citruses in it are so well done, and they last for quite a while. This is one of those fragrances that could actually, I think you could wear all year round. Though it is bright and citrusy and nice and juicy citrus, the coriander gives it that nice spiciness and it lies on a really nice woody base. The woods could actually help cut through the cooler seasons. Now, a little bit more expensive as well, you're looking at 185 for 100 ml. I think it's 180, 185, but I definitely suggest checking out Goldfield and Banks Bohemian Lime. Last on my list is a new addition, but I have been wearing it because I had a decant and it comes from Navatus Parfums and it's Salil Matin. This thing is all about citrus. You name it. It's got grapefruit, lemon, bergamot, orange, probably more orange, more citruses. It's so much citrus. And the citrus in this, what I really appreciate about it is it just keeps going. It also has this really nice jasmine in it. So this is kind of a blue-esque fragrance, but really, really citrusy. And the citruses, like I said, stick around for a really long time. I really am enjoying wearing this fragrance. In fact, this is what I'm gonna be wearing to brunch today. Oh yeah. This thing is a powerhouse too. I get a good longevity out of it. Eight plus hours. Oh man, the jasmine in it. The jasmine and the citrus are a great combination in this fragrance. If you're looking for fresh citrus and that's gonna be long lasting, I definitely highly suggest checking out Navitu Salil Matin. All right, guys, there are my seven fresh citrus fragrances that you should get your nose on this summer. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, my honorable mention. Did you stick around? Oh, I see you back there and you're here. I'm glad you guys stuck around. So the newest addition to my arsenal comes from the house of Bortnikov and it's Oud Cologne. So I know everybody and including myself has been talking about the photorealistic grapefruit note in Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Forever. It doesn't hold a candle to the grapefruit note in this. Oh my God. This thing is so interesting. It's got like a, like a lemon meringue to it. The oud in it is, it's, it's subtle, but it adds this nice salty quality and, and creaminess to it. I haven't, I'm gonna do my full review on it, but this, if you can get your nose on this, I highly suggest it. Definitely an honorable bench right now. I don't know what the performance and longevity is. I just wore it last evening and I really enjoyed it. Lots and lots and lots of beautiful citruses right up top, right up top. And they last, they last. The aromatics in it, crazy. I will be doing my full review on this very soon because I'm gonna be wearing the crap out of this. This is just me showing you the bottle, guys. But Amber Cologne, fantastic. Oud Cologne, uh, might be better. I don't know yet. I don't know, but this is stinking awesome. Brand new to 2021. Bortnikov Oud Cologne. All right, guys, that's it for me. I hope you guys stuck around for the honorable mention because this Oud Cologne is 
It's gonna be fantastic. The grapefruit in it, oh my God, oh my God. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, if you will, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, you're stinking beautiful. And until next time, happy scent trails. Mm -hmm.